What's up ladies and gentlemen, I am currently riding in uh, what was formerly known as my car slash the burden uh, to get it go go get it inspected uh, by its new owner Q-tip a dirty Q-tip at that <laughs> uh, Let's see I bombed my test in school today. I was really frustrated by that because I uh, focused and I read the whole chapter that we needed to, the important one, you know, before I took the exam and st they do wiring weird, man. Pair one is in the middle uh, and split between pair two. No, pair two, pair one is in between pair two. Uh, meaning that the orange and white wires on the outside of the blue and white wires and the orange and white is pair two. And it's in the, and the first pair is uh, white, blue and blue. And that's in the middle of those two. And then pin one is all the way at the top. So whoever designed network cabling is a moron. They're, why didn't they just go, okay, pair one is gonna be white, green, and green. Pair two is gonna be orange, you know, and do it straight down like that. And then pin one will be white, green. Pin two will be green. Pin, you see what I'm saying? Instead, they have to mix and match it across across the board on that. And, you're, and I'm supposed to remember that. I, it. I am a guy that is simplistic. If you're going to do something or design something, design it so anybody can understand it without much, without a lot of complication. But the world doesn't work that way. They design things to be complicated, it seems like. The whole networking class in general, there are simpler ways that you can maintain a network and manage a network and solve problems that don't require all these fancy smancy uh, lines of code and stuff. It's called a GUI, people. You know what a GUI is? Yeah. A graphical user interface? Yep. But hey, I'm not a network guy, so what do I know? Take off. Your weird, your mirror? Yeah. He's going for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, jerk. <laughs> Tomorrow I have my hardware physical examination exam uh, and I have to get a 70% or above in order to pass the class. If I get anything below 70% I will fail that class. And uh, I won't, I don't really know if I'm going to go back to school if I fail that class. I, I hate putting a lot of effort into trying to learn something only to come out failing. And then people like my brother don't think I'm studying or even trying, even though he doesn't really spend any time around me. Sorry about that, I accidentally cut the recording off. So he actually has no idea that I actually do spend time studying, and that I do spend time focusing and trying to learn the subject matter, but it's just, it's just, it's all designed in a way that doesn't make it easy to learn. At least not for me. I'm pretty sure I'm, I've got the worst grade in the whole class. And that's depressing to me. I hate failing. I don't know about you, but... Yeah. 